Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome to the cr possibly craziest Jeep ever in Spin Tires Mudrunner. Now, this is Terminator's LJ version 2.0. Now, if you remember version 1 of Terminator's LJ, you'll remember that it was a crazy, you know, caged crawler. But it wasn't this crazy. The tires were not this big. The axles were not this wide. And it was nowhere near this level of insanity. So I'm going to run you guys through the couple of different versions that we have here. As well as all of the modifications, all of the customization. And then we're going to take it down some trails on the map that we decided to come to today. Which is White Knuckle Trails. Which is a Rock Runner map. So the bumper connect uh, we can't do. Uh, but we do do the bumper main, the bumper connect, and now the bumper stinger, which is interesting because I've never seen anybody do a bumper where you assemble it in pieces. Um, fire extinguisher, gen right sliders, half doors are an option. A hard top is also an option. I'm going to do the half doors without the hard top on this one. High lift jack, spare tire on the back, as well as a voodoo rope wrapped around that stinger. The windscreen is a possible option. However, I'm going to opt for... Um, I'm going to opt for it without it. And then the Yeti cooler in the back will complete our upgrade package on this particular LJ. Now, the other LJ is a little bit different in color. It's a bright orange. And if you like, <laughs> if you like bright colored Jeeps, you're going to love this thing because all the control arms, all the steering arms, the body is all orange. And it's running some massive pit bull tires, whereas the other one is running a TSL. So... This thing, let's see, I believe it's got, so you've got your same Yeti, Yeti cooler, windscreen, voodoo rope, spare tire, half doors, uh, stinger. Although, you don't have the same exact bumper which you can assemble in pieces, which is interesting. You can do the high lift jack, you can do the hard top, and you can do the fire extinguisher. So I'm going to do the fire extinguisher, the uh, stinger, the voodoo rope. And on this one, I'm going to run a windscreen. I'm going to put the Yeti in it. So this one, I'm actually going to go ahead and drive first, I think. Now that I've looked looked this one over, I kind of want to drive this one first. But these, these freaking tires, man, they are absolutely gigantic. I mean, they've got to be somewhere between a 44 and a 50. I mean, it. they are so ginormously huge that... Dude, oh my god, you've got like locker switches in here for the diffs and everything. I mean, it's not a very, not a very, like, luxurious interior, but does it need to be? I don't think so. It's a freaking LJ rock buggy. If you're trying to make this thing luxurious, you're, you're, yeah. You're trying to make it luxurious, like, make something luxurious for the wrong reasons. So, off we go. And we're gonna see what this thing is like in the rocks. Now, the steering is very responsive. The turning circle is actually really small, even though it doesn't have four-wheel steer. At least I don't think it does. No, yeah, it definitely does not. It's front-wheel steer only. So let's go ahead and get into some rocks. Now, the cool thing about this map is that it eases you into, uh, I should say, sort of like the difficulty of these crawling sections as you go along. Now, as I bring it up onto this first obstacle here, this one isn't really a good one to demonstrate flex, but I really want to see what this thing... Oh, that's a good... Good flex shot for the rear. Look at that. That's pretty tremendous. Now, if you leave it in automatic mode, you can actually go like quarter throttle in automatic mode and it will just walk its way through everything. Dude, look at that. Thing is a beast. It's actually like this thing is truly a monster. Like when it comes to when it comes to walking through trails, there are very few vehicles that I can think of that are this good at it. I mean, like, the first LJ that Terminator did, I blanked on Terminator's name for a second, but the first LJ that Terminator did was really, really good and really capable, and I was like, oh, this is a really well-sorted rig. This, this is on another level. I mean, this is not on the same level as his first LJ, and I mean that in a good way. I mean... This thing is on a different level in about the best way that it could possibly be. I mean, it's it's turned up 10 more notches than... Whoa! Did, like, look how steep that was. It just... I didn't even know how steep it was because it just walked right down it. And, dude, I'm still quarter throttle in automatic. And it's still doing just fine. I'm going to see what this thing likes here in terms of line. Because it is a long wheelbase Jeep. That's what the LJ means. 
And I'm going to go ahead and see about... I wonder actually how responsive it is if you try to bump it in high. Oh my god! Oh my god! Well, if you want to fly, then uh, yeah, just put this thing in high range and launch it up a rock. It'll go up anything! Good lord, it'll go up literally anything. And that's probably not an understatement. I'm going to put it in low three now. See how it does when it's locked in a gear. I'm going to put the right side tires up on this ledge. Hopefully that gives me a little bit better traction, I think. There we go. Approach and departure angles are excellent. There's no way that you're going to be, like, smashing into the bumper uh, in the front or in the back. And it's just... Dude. This thing is just, like, it's good to go. I mean, it is perfect. You want to talk about an insane trail rig that can literally go anywhere? You're looking at it. I'm not even joking. Like, you want an insane trail rig that can go anywhere that you never, ever, ever have to worry about it? Bro, you're looking at it. You're absolutely looking at it. I can't recommend this thing highly enough. It's so good. Yeah, if you have if you have ever had dreams about an LJ crawler on one tons and huge tires, I mean, you're pretty much like okay, almost every vehicle that I've ever taken down that particular rock like that, like just driven it straight down has flipped. This thing didn't even come close. Didn't even remotely come close to flipping. And when I see that, I mean, you know that this thing means business. It's made for business, it means business, and this thing just about pushes everything else out of the way in terms of, oh my god. It's, it, dude, this thing is cheat code good. It's literally cheat code good. I've never driven anything that was this easy to climb rocks in in this game. I, th I'm going to go ahead and come out and say it. This is the best Jeep crawler I have ever driven in Mudrunner. The best Jeep crawler I've ever driven. And and that that is like, no, you know, no disrespect to anybody else's rigs. But this thing, in terms of how fun it is to drive, how easy it is to control, I mean, how well it responds to your inputs, how much traction it has. Dude, I let off almost all the way there in high, and it never even remotely tried to stall. It's an absolutely insanely good rig, and I don't know, I don't know what higher praise that I could give it. I mean, because, like that, look, it didn't even try to stall. That's insane. The fact that it didn't even try to stall there, it blows me away, dude. The traction is incredible. The wheelbase is just right. I know I'm just kind of like gushing about this thing right now. But it's that freaking good, man. It's that, it's that good. And yeah, until something that can best this comes out, bro, this is the ultimate crawler. I'm going to just go ahead and say it. This is the ultimate crawler for Mudrunner. If you're looking for the ultimate crawler... You're looking at it. I mean, if you like Jeeps and you're looking for a crawler to put all others to shame, you're looking at it. It, oh my God, is it good. So good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and actually turn this one off and swap into the, oh, we could recall it. That's cool. Oh, something is, really? I wanted to recall the other one out here so we could, um, so we could kind of have fun with it. We might um, drive this thing up to where it connects to the next trail, and then we'll recall it. Probably because once we get up there, we won't have to deal with any um, any issues like, you know, stuff blocking the area. Oh, wow, the main road's right here. Okay, that's perfect. Easing this thing down. No worries. God, the, even the automatic mode is good. All right. That was Sully's Revenge, and we're going to go ahead and shut you down. Bring the other LJ out here. And now we are good to go. Oh, that looks sick without the windscreen. I love it without the windscreen. Oh, my God. Let's see. Fender Bender Trail. All right, we'll take this thing down a little bit of Fender Bender Trail and see how the green Jeep on Swampers does, or, well, TSLs, in comparison to the orange Jeep on the Pitbulls. Now, I will say the performance is probably going to be similar, if not the same. Although, I don't know. The, the, the orange one might be tuned a little bit differently because it might have been made to somebody else's personal specs. But, 
This thing's having a little bit of a tough time getting up here. I'm gonna, all I gotta do is get that front axle to climb up and hook, and then she's good to go. There you go. Walk it over. It's really good on partial throttle. Like, really good. I'm gonna try and get that right side tire up on that rock. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. There you go. There you go. Dude, oh my god. The capability is just absolutely off the charts incredible. I know, again, that this video is most of me just saying, oh my god, but like, dude, you rarely ever get anything this good, and it's just, I mean, look at that. Who doesn't want to drive that? If you ever need to climb up something, I mean, like, boom, you're covered. You're so covered. Wow. Oh, I forgot that this trail had, like, pools of water in it. Easy. Just give it just enough throttle to kind of like inch it off. There you go. This is like quarter throttle right now. Just enough. God, if, if you do the slow crawling, oh my God, this thing loves the slow crawling thing. Come on. Get that tire up. Get that tire up. There it is. Yes, there it is. Get that tire up. Boom. Trying to look around for a different line. Found it! It's so easy to find lines in this thing. So easy. That's the biggest thing I could say about it is that it's easy. I mean, it's just so easy to drive. Well, that has been this first look and review of LJ of the Terminator LJ 2.0. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to click that like button. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you have any requests, make sure to leave them down there. And if you're new around here, subscribe for more. This thing is available on the Steam Workshop. Y'all should all check it out. And I'll see you guys next time.